Hey everybody, it's Nick with Technic, and in today's episode, we're gonna look at this 32 inch gaming monitor from Acer that has a few tricks up its sleeve. Today's entry is a lower price point entry into gaming monitors. It is at 1080p, it is not a 4K resolution, but we're sacrificing that because we are going for ultimate speed one millisecond response time. It doesn't get any better than that. And at 1080p, we should be able to push the hertz. And that's what happens in this monitor. An overclock mode capable of 165 hertz refresh rate. So we're not going to see any issue there. And it does, of course, have AMD FreeSync, so we don't have to worry about ripping or tearing of the picture. All right, let's slide this thing out of here and see if I can keep, oh, well, let me stand it up. So in the top of the box here, um, you've got some components laid right in the top right here. You've got power cable right here. We also have foot and the much smaller boomerang. Heads up. All right, let's get it on. Bango gong, get it on. So this is sold as a 32 inch gaming monitor. It's actually just slightly under at 31 and a half inches. Not that that really matters, right? But that is what it is. Um, obviously we said earlier, this is a 1920 by 1080p monitor. It is an 1800R curved gaming screen. So it does have that curve, makes it easy on your eyes. And it's also kind of all, it's kind of in, an engrossing, um, display. It kind of draws you into it and goes and fills your, does a little bit better of a job filling your peripheral vision than a, a, a standard flat monitor will do. Obviously the two things that excited us about this was being able to overclock this to 165 hertz and the one millisecond response time. In the box, obviously power and HDMI, Little bag of screws like always. Oh, and we got a bag that runs solo. That's a solo screw. That is a one and done. And it looks like a little cable management tray right there. I never get tired of making my children pick up all these plastic bags after we do an unboxing. <laughs> and as you can imagine, I'm just their favorite person in the world. And there we go again. If the kids don't listen, this is solid and much sharper than the others we've seen. <laughs> so this one is actually kind of deadly. And this will, um, oh, aha, I can already tell. So the one and done goes right here. You know what? <laughs> no. Okay, anyway. And then we've got four smaller screws that will go in the back of this. I don't even need instructions for this. We're just gonna get started very carefully. Bring the monitor to the edge of the table so that we can put the leg on without having to balance this thing and get all funky. Is it? Is there a groove that it sits into? There is kind of a groove that it sits into, John. Good call, man. Good call from over there. one screw is not enough. I wasn't even trying, I'm being serious though, structurally, like from an engineering standpoint. Structurally? You need more than one screw to reach optimal strength and rigidity for the weight for the class series monitor that this is. So let's 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 just assume that the engineers at Acer don't have their heads up their ass and pull off this one screw configuration. Well, you know what, my people, you saved two cents on a second screw. Well done. Well done. So if we look just from the top. I've got a series of buttons here on the back. Can you see that? I've got power and I'm obviously, uh, or I'm assuming that this is like uh, selection buttons and then uh, um, maybe even volume up and down. On the bottom, <clears throat> let's go upside down here. We're rocking two HDMI ports, one DP port and an audio jack for headphones or speakers out if you'd like to do it that way, and then the power supply. We need the HDMI! More zip ties, here we go. 
I wonder what the companies put on their bread when the electronics companies started taking all their bread ties away. Electronic ties. One of the games that we've been wanting to spend a little more time on and actually do some on the channel is Cyberpunk. So the first thing that we notice is right off the bat, um, that's really good color saturation. Now, the Xbox Series X automatically formatted over, and we didn't have to really do anything there to get this um, rocking and rolling. The display colors for this monitor come in at 16.7 million. I'm not seeing any type of tear or lag. Worth pointing out on this Acer monitor, they do actually have eight preset modes for viewing. We have action, racing, sports, um, a standard setting, the eco settings, graphics powered settings, movie settings, and then obviously your user input that you can set your own custom uh, darkness levels, sharpness levels, contrast, all of that. We'll go down here to gaming, and that takes us to overdrive, and we have extreme overdrive. Now, it is running at 165 hertz refresh rate. I'm not seeing any any la screen lag or tear. We'll look at 2K21. And additionally, we will go into the settings and we will turn it into sports mode, which we saw earlier. I haven't really noticed, even sitting here on the side, I, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing a heavy amount of glare. Acer doesn't even say that this is an anti-glare screen. However, I will tell you, with the amount of lights that we have in the studio, if it's if you're able to see this at all over there, that means there has to be some type of anti-glare on this. While we wait for it to load, we've kind of noticed, you know, the, the, oh, the unboxing table here is one that we built ourselves, so it's obviously not that good, okay? And as we kind of move this just a little bit, to John's earlier point that one screw might not get the job done, just a little bit of movement to this table has this monitor moving quite a bit, actually. I'm not worried about it being tipped over. Could you knock it over? Absolutely. But it does have a bit of a wobble. So you can see, I mean, that's not much force at all. And that thing is wobbling pretty heavily. I say that because if you've got this in a heavy traffic area, that might be something you want to be careful of. People walking through, especially if you've got a hardwood floor, and they're walking right past your area, your monitor might be moving the entire time. Might not bother you. But that kind of stuff makes me insanely motion sick. As I turned it on this time, now we have something a little different. The Xbox is asking me. It says that the TV supports advanced video features designed to help you get the most from your system. So the Xbox Series X is able to recognize that Acer has a little bit of different technology in here. It's asking if we'd like to take advantage of that. And of course we would. So it has automatically adjusted the refresh rate and is allowing for a variable refresh rate. So it'll automatically change based on the game and the workload um, for that game. If you find us on Xbox Live, it's TSX Black. We are no good, but you are more than welcome to play along with us. Unless your name is Josh Harrell and we're dodging you. Alright, so let's uh, skip through some of this. How's that look from over there? Does that look pretty good? Now I'm seated pretty close. But even from where you, you are, John, it's quite possible that this looks almost like uh, gameplay. I'd say it looks golden. Wow. Again, this is just out of the box. I've not tweaked these colors at all. I think this is pretty good here as well. We're going to take just a quick glance at Call of Duty Cold War before we call it a wrap. Wow. That looks, that is a great looking picture from here. It is telling us what the refresh rate is currently on the top of this. Can and you so, get that to go away? Uh, you can in the settings, you can, but we're leaving it up to display for the video. And that's kind of a cool feature as we, as we go through here. All right, and fair warning, I am no good at this game, so buckle up. Oh, dear God. Oh! 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 This is exactly how most people would react if they were dropped off on an island and abandoned. This is how I uh, mow the yard as well in this type of this type of pattern. What is happening here? Isn't this what happens in Last Starfighter? He just he goes like he goes like right to the 
Oh, you're out. laying down. Oh, well, they're zombies, and they don't, they're not immune to circle moves. I will tell you, playing shooters parallel to your screen uh, induces vomiting. I'm too in it. I'm too in it. Um, I, all kidding aside, playing directly from the side is quite nauseating. So, <laughs> the guys back there are enjoying this. I am not. Um, looks like there might be trouble this way. <laughs> so let's not open to the public. Wow. So, I'm not seeing anything worth showing you here. It looks like this game has been abandoned. There are no zombies. Everyone's gone home. So, I think I've won. I'm the last sole survivor of Moscow. And, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, capture. Oh, maybe, maybe it's user error. Maybe I have no idea what I'm doing. That's a safe bet. How am I... You know what? Just... So, the guns work. That's nice. <laughs> as you can see. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's... I don't know what's happening here. You... So leave, leave that. So no lagging or tearing. We didn't even mess with color settings. We wanted to just show how clear the picture was, how sharp it is out of the box. So the things you want to know about this monitor: 1080p, 165 hertz refresh rate in, in overclock mode, 1800R curvature, so it's easy on the eyes. FreeSync technology is going to keep you from those rips and tears. Two HDMI ports, one Display Port and a partridge in a pear tree. Um, the thing you want to know about this item is where did we get it and how much, Nick? Come on, tell us the goods. How much was it? Well, how much was it? How much was it? It was $289. Does this change the game? No. Is it a solid entry at under $300? Absolutely. And with an Acer product, you know you're dealing with quality. Obviously, we're going to use it more. I'd like to know your thoughts. But I think that this looks good, and I would expect nothing else from it but good performance. I want to say thank you guys for tuning in and watching this unboxing. We appreciate all the support we're getting. If you have some items that you'd like us to look at on here, please feel free to reach out to us and let us know what those items are. We are listening, even if you don't think we are. And we've added some of those items you guys have sent us messages about to the upcoming queue. So guys, thanks again for watching the channel. We appreciate you, and we'll catch you next time.